Hey everyone, Quivin here from CIT Castle Observatory. We're going to be taking a look at what's going to come up in the evenings for the next couple of evenings. So hopefully you've all gotten a chance to take a look at the videos that we've been posting on Twitter. If not, not to worry because we'll be going through a couple of the things that were posted in the Twitter videos again here. And first off is Venus. Venus is the brightest planet in our solar system from our perspective here on Earth. And because it's so incredibly bright, it'll come out very early. In fact, it'll be the first thing to come out in the sky because it's the brightest object that we see in the sky after the sun and the moon. So Venus is going to come out nice and early just as we're coming up to seven o'clock and it'll get brighter and more obvious as the sky gets darker. Once the sky is sufficiently dark, we'll start seeing some bright stars. Just down there in the south is Sirius, and Sirius is the brightest star that we see in the night sky, but it's not quite as bright as the brightest planet Venus. And we can see that here, Venus is a good deal brighter than Sirius. The sky is really starting to get dark now as we come up to eight o'clock. Of course, we are getting back into springtime, so the sky will take just a little bit longer to darken in the evenings. But here we are, it's just about eight o'clock, and there is a good collection of objects that we can see. So Venus, nice and bright, is going to be up over the western horizon. We can still see a little bit of sunset glow there, while Sirius in the early evening is going to be pretty much due south. If you're looking at Sirius, you're looking almost directly into the southern part of the sky. Just next to Sirius is one of the most famous constellations, the constellation of Orion there. We can see Orion's belt nice and clear in the middle. Orion's belt is a handy way to find a small group of stars known as the Seven Sisters or the Pleiades. If we follow that straight line up into the sky, just above Venus, very, very close to Venus, is that little group of stars. I can see about three of them here. You might be able to see four or just two, depending on your eyes. But here in Cork City, the Seven Sisters are most usually seen as just three or four. So that's what we've got to look at down in the south for this evening. Turning around, we're going to turn first towards the west. So we're looking at that nice orange yellow glow. And then we're going to start turning away from the west, putting it down on our left hand side. And if west is on your left, then you're looking north. And right in front of us, directly in the northern part of the sky, is the North Star, also known as Polaris. On one side of the North Star, we've got this lovely curved handle and boxy front of the plough or Big Dipper. And the two stars at the front of the plough, they'll point you down to the North Star. If you're finding it a bit difficult to find the plough, just on the other side of the North Star, we have this nice W shape. This is the constellation of Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia isn't too useful for pointing at the North Star, but if you do see Cassiopeia in the sky, you need to look on the other side. So if Cassiopeia is a little bit to your right, you want to look a little bit more to your left in order to catch the plough. And that is what's going to point you right down to the North Star. So the North Star, Cassiopeia, the Big Dipper, Venus, Orion, Sirius, they're all going to be nice and clear and visible in the sky this evening. We're going to push a little bit later to see if we can get a few more stars coming into the sky. Here we are, just about half past eight. We're going to lean back and look straight up into the sky. Uh, there's definitely quite a few stars visible. But we are looking at the sky from here in Cork City. If we were to push out just a little bit into the countryside, we'd be able to see a good deal more. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to leave the city and head out into the countryside. Now we can see a lot more of the star names. The sky's after getting a lot darker, so those stars are now bright enough to be labelled. We've got Betelgeuse or Betelgeist and Rigel, both in the constellation of Orion, and Aldebaran, a nice big reddish orange star, very, very close to the Pleiades in the sky. Now, if we tilt our heads back and look straight up, there is loads to see, millions of stars. You can really see about two and a half thousand but this glow in the sky is the light of millions and millions. And that's the Milky Way or Bohernabo Finna if you're a Gwaelgor. And that's going to be stretching across the evening sky this evening if you'd like to catch a look at it. Now, so far, this is all stuff that we can see with our eyes, and we can see a little bit more with our eyes in the countryside than we would in the city. But if you are somewhere nice and dark, we're going to turn around and look back into the north. We're going to take a look for our plough. Well, there's the handle and the front of the plough. So that's going to point us right down to the North Star. So there's the North Star. And on a straight line from the plough, you're pretty much going down into the ground, down onto the horizon. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the North Star. We're going to stop. 
We're going to take a look for that glow of the Milky Way and that W of Cassiopeia. So there it is. And we're going to go from the North Star down to Cassiopeia through the Milky Way and just a little bit out the other side. So we're looking here just over the Western Horizon at about half eight this evening. And we're going to start taking a closer look. And already, even just taking a slightly closer look, this is something you might be able to see with your eyes, there's a little fuzzy patch there, just to the left of that lovely glow of the Milky Way. That little fuzzy patch is one of the most distant things our eyes can see, two and a half million light years away. That little glow is further away than any of the stars we can see in the night sky, because all of the stars we see in the night sky, they are part of our galaxy, that little glow. That's a whole other galaxy, millions of light years away from us. And as we start to take a closer look, this is pretty much what you'd start to see through a good pair of binoculars or a small telescope. We can start to see the shape of that fuzzy glow. It's certainly a little bit brighter there in the center. And as we get closer and closer, we're getting up to what you need. Quite a big telescope to see now. Well, there we go. That is a galaxy. It's a spiral galaxy, just like ours. We can see that bright glow in the center, those dark lanes of dust and gas, and these bluish white areas where new stars are forming. This is our closest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. It's one of the very, very, very few galaxies that we can see with our eyes besides our own Milky Way. And as well as the main galaxy there in the center, we can see a little dwarf companion galaxy there at the side. So that little dwarf companion galaxy, brighter in the middle, fainter at the edges, but we don't see any dark lines of dust and gas. And we do see that in the larger spiral of Andromeda. And that's a good sign that Andromeda is the big galaxy. It's the main spiral galaxy here. And that little blob is just a companion. So the Andromeda galaxy is one of the deep sky objects, something that's outside our solar system that you'll be able to see in the night sky tonight if you live somewhere nice and dark outside of the city. And even if you don't, let's quickly hop back into the city here. Let's bring back up that light pollution. We don't like light pollution, but sometimes we just have to deal with it. Well, now it's pretty much impossible to see. We've still got that shape of Cassiopeia, so it should be just about there. And if we start taking a closer look, start pulling out our telescope or binoculars, well, there it is. It's certainly a bit harder to see in the city with light pollution. It's looking a lot fainter, a lot more difficult to make out, but the Andromeda galaxy, it is still going to be there. About a billion stars, two and a half million light years away from the Earth. So that's something you'll definitely need a telescope or a binoculars for. Even if you're in the countryside, you won't get a clear view without something to magnify what you're seeing. But if you're just using your eyes, whether you're in the countryside or in the city, we've got the plough, the North Star, that W of Cassiopeia. We've got that bright planet Venus, the lovely Seven Sisters, Aldebaran, Orion with Betelgeuse and Rigel, and then Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. So that's all there for us to see in the evening this evening. To see what's coming up in the morning, we should have a video dealing with that out very, very soon. So hopefully I will see you all then.